Welcome back again guys, uh, now we will be unboxing the Core i7-2600K on the 1155 socket. Okay, so this is currently the uh, best Sandy Bridge CPU you can get on the market, and it is the K series, so of course it is unlocked and unleashed. Okay, let's have a look on the box. The first thing on the top we see is the actual CPU itself, but we'll get to that in a moment when we actually open the box up. So if we look on the side, you can see up the top here, i7-2600K, 3.0, 3.40GHz, sorry, um, as a stock clock, 8 meg of cache, and once again the 1155 socket with 95 watts of CPU power by standard. And we also actually see that it is genuine Intel by the little sticker hologram of Intel that we see here. Okay, so on the box what do we have? Lots of information about Intel themselves, compatibility warnings, if you, come on focus, focus, that's not, not going to focus, there we go, There's a lot of compatibility warnings about people wanting to put these CPUs on the 1156 socket boards and of course it would not work, you'd actually be damaging the CPU by doing so. Okay, so if we see on the side here, four cores of eight or eight threads, rather, of multitask processing. Intel Turbo Boost Technology 2.0 uh, supports hyper-threading and HD Graphics 3000. Smart Cache Technology, Integrated Memory Controller, and supports two-channel DDR3 memory. We also have a three-year lifetime warranty by Intel. So let's actually open up the box, if we can. So this is going in my personal rig once again, and this is going to be a very nice upgrade until Ivy Bridge came out. If you saw in the previous video with the motherboard I had got, it had also been Ivy Bridge ready, so once Ivy Bridge comes out, I will be ready to change over. Okay, so the first thing we see in here is our stock cooler. Actually, just pop this back on. Okay. Once again, more holograms. It's a stock cooler for this. Just plugs into your top of your motherboard in the fan slot. And in here we actually have the chip itself. So I know there's a funny way of getting these out. There we go. So you can actually see the chip itself there. Mm, so much, so little light. But it is the 1155 chips, so that's how many pins it has on the back, and that's pretty much it. So on here it tells us once again the information about it, and that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching. I'm about to run out of time with my memory card.